Hello and welcome to First Feudal. So this is my first playthrough of this colony survival sim. And this is episode one, so we're gonna start a new game. So we'll go to single player. We will load a new game and we are gonna pick our <clears throat> origin first. So I think we'll go for the tribe. So I am a chieftain, a feudal lord, plays the most important role in the tribe. And I'll get a debuff whenever, anytime any more villager dies. But I also start with, uh, my starting stats are doubled. I gain stats four times faster, but I lose two points from a random stat every time a peasant dies. So my survival relies on my villagers staying alive, basically. And with the starting bonuses, I do start with a copper sword and I start with the berserker trait, which upon taking a fatal hit, the feudal law becomes invulnerable for one second and I recover 50% of my health. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty powerful, that berserker trait. And the events, feudal law restores maximum stamina before a fight. And decisions that require losing a peasant are replaced with others. So let's get into it. So start a new game and we will go for the high difficulty. We've got to, um, let's start a new game. So generate a new map or we can pick these predetermined maps already on, on here. And we have got some random maps on here. So I think we will go for a Dwarf Fortress playthrough on this. So we will actually be creating our base within the mountain. So there we go, so we're loading into the game. This is the, if we have a look at the map, so this is where I'm gonna start my base and start building my colony. So I think we'll start off, let's place our main square right in the middle here. There we go. And if we go up to it, we need to build this. That costs three wood. A new beginning. My head is still aching from everything that happened yesterday. I'm the overlord's bastard. I have to disappear. Ah, no, I won't die in this forest just because my blood isn't blue enough and I'll prove that I deserve so much more than just being forgotten. But first, let's solve the most important problem. Where do I sleep tonight? Let's get started. Okay, so I should have a couple of peasants join me. There we go. So I've got two peasants and they brought with me a cart which is got a few resource, resources in there, not many. I've got some jerky, I've got some wool, some hide, got a couple of tools and a wooden club. So first off, let's start off with assigning these peasants. So let's have a look at their stats quickly. So high strength, we'll set him as a woodcutter and this one will, he can be a builder. So we'll go, it'll go and grab the required tool to start work. So he's, he's got to uh, chopping the trees down straight away and I need my builder to start building stuff. So as we progress through the science uh, technology tree, I will get more things to build. So start off with, I will build a carpenter's workbench because I will need planks. So I think we're going to place the carpenter's workbench there. And I need 10 logs for that. So he should be chopping down my logs now and he'll get to build. And with that, I will also build a to workbench because without the tools we can't build anything so let's place the tool workbench there and it looks like we're missing some tools there so we're missing a hammer so if I, I think I've actually got a hammer on me yeah so if I take that off I'll quit my sword and let's place my hammer in there he should go and pick that hammer up and start building once he's got the resources, once he brings these back and puts them in my um, in my cart there. And what else do I need to build? So let's build a couple of sleeping bags. I think this is gonna be my living, living quarters here. Let's place a, no, place it up against the wall. So let's get rid of that, destroy that. And let's place a couple of sleeping bags down there. I should have some wool for that. Wool and hide. I think I've got some in there. Yeah, so I've got enough for two sleeping bags at the minute. Okay, we'll get to start building that now. And what else do I need? A uh, wooden chest. We'll place a wooden chest there. So anything I'll craft will go straight into the chest. Put that one there. And let's place a wooden chest there. And the wood, we could just stick the wood back in the cart so it's in the central position, I think. And 
build a stone quarry so I could pick from anywhere in here for the stone quarry. Where should we pick? Should we use this as a stone quarry? Yeah, I can use this as yeah. Use this as a quarry. So let's place the quarry up against there and I'll put that I do need uh, what do I need for that? Ten logs and twenty planks. We need to get the carpenter's workbench to produce planks. So what I might do, I might actually go and help him out actually. If I pick a axe up. I've already got an axe. For that back I've got a better axe actually. So if I Right, let's equip my axe. A new peasant has joined Tommy Lehman, who is Tyrus. Let's put him as a hunter, so he'll go and grab a club and I should have some animals around somewhere. Where are they? Yes, yeah, in this passage there we've got a couple of cows and bulls. Got some sheep out there, that's good, so we can get some wool as well. Okay. Well, let's go out this, this guy out. Start chopping down some trees. stamina okay let's just help wait for that to regen the stamina bar is at the bottom here and the purple mark means that I need to rest basically oh, there you go he's gathering all the wood can't get around there Would have got on me. Uh, 23 at the minute, it's not a lot, but. There we go. So, finish that, so I've got a bit of wood now. Uh, yeah, so I've got about 60, 70 wood on me. So. I go and grab a hammer, I can actually help build. So let's grab that hammer and let's replace the axe with the hammer. And let's start building this workbench. So can, okay, so the that's already built, the carpenter's workbench. So let's get some logs. So craft until we've made 20 and we need some wooden sticks as well for this bench as well. So we'll leave that there. And I should be able to set one as an artisan. So let's set my uh, hunter to artisan who will start producing some planks as well there you go he's working on the planks there we go and what else do I need did I need wood for that yeah no I've got the wood I just need the planks now wood there let's go and grab that So he's crafted some planks. Can I actually craft it myself as well because I've got a lot of wood on me. So let's just go for that. Craft some wooden sticks as well. Okay, nice. So we've got up the. Um, we're getting some new science so if I click on that I can actually pick a new um, science to learn new technology so I think we'll go for the vegetables we can actually make a farm then that producing some veg have some more wooden sticks how many we got okay so I think we've got enough for now so I can actually build that storage there we go and I can set that storage a filter on that storage so it's disable all of that and bench output so any arrows or fish traps or anything that are created through here will go straight into there so let's save that okay and let's build so I've got sticks so let's build the rest of this workbench there we go build this storage area as well while regaining my stamina 
Uh, let's start building some stone axes, stone picks, and a stone hammer. That should keep it. And we'll, we'll craft until we've got three of them in stock. Okay, that's fine. And we'll do the same with this. We'll put a filter on this one and bench output on that one. We'll save that. Here we go. And what else have we got there? And looks like we've got no weaponsmith to craft tools at the minute. So we can move, we can set one of these to a weaponsmith. So let's have a look at intelligence. So they're not very intelligent to be fair. He's a mover, but he could be a weaponsmith as well. There we go. So let's see how the rest of these are coming along. So I can build a farm, so I need 20 planks up there. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got plenty of planks on me up there. Let's go and help him build that. Right, so a new peasant has arrived, Tage Evans, who is resistant, got the resistant trait. And he's got quite high constitution, which affects his health and stamina and carrying capacity. So uh, let's put him, I don't really want him as a miner, I need the strength. So let's put him as a put him as a woodcutter and we'll have the Peter Fisher as the miner. There we go. And let's place another, put it there actually. Build another storage area where we can keep the stone. And let's built of this to um, resources and we'll just put stone in there for now let's save that there we go so we'll keep our stone in there now we look at me I'm getting quite hungry actually I've got some jerky so let's eat some jerky and I think we're up to date with building everything at the minute so we can start building a Oh, we need a kitchen actually, so I think we'll make this area the kitchen. Place a kitchen down there. And what else do we need? A seed extraction. So we have got a weapon workbench. So we'll make the, this could be like the armory here. Place a weapon workbench there. And I will put all of this back in there so they can use it. There we go. And then we head outside and we need to start placing some farms down. We'll go down here, this is more fertile down here. So we plant a farm and we'll keep at least a hundred, I think, stock of pumpkins. Place the farm, yeah, so crop quantity modifiers plus 25% on here. a little pumpkin farm down here there we go that'll do and i haven't actually got any seeds at the minute so i will need to find some pumpkin there I could go and grab some seeds from there Yeah, so I need to set one as a farm. I don't think I'm going to do it at the minute, no. There's pumpkin there, so let's go and grab this pumpkin here. Yeah, switch to my sword. There we go. So we've got plenty of pumpkins, and we get some pumpkin seeds, which you can start planting. And um, what's this? Some cotton there as well. Cotton seeds. Nice. So let's go and stick these back in here, and then we can at least start planting the pumpkins. So let's place all of these in there. What's that? That's flax. It wasn't cotton. Nice. Okay. And I'm getting a bit restless, so let's go and have a little nap. I just left some stone lying around here, so let's have a little nap. And with that, I'm in strategy mode, so I can carry on building. So I need a seed extraction table. We'll place that by the farm. We'll place that over here. There we go. 
I'll be looking with a stone, yep, yeah, so. Putting a stone in there at the minute. We have got some wheat there as well. Okay, nice. So we've just received um, some more science technology upgrades. So I think we'll go for uh, washing and soaking because that allows us to create fibre, and rope, and leather. Okay, so we'll go for that. And we are no weaponsmith to craft tools. Thought I set someone to a weaponsmith. Yeah, it was his secondary job. So we'll put you as a mover and we'll set a. Okay, right, so we've got enemies coming nearby. So robbers are roaming the nearby forest. What should we do? There's two of them with an average equipment at level 16, but there's five of us, so they're much weaker. So let's um, deal with them myself. The robbers retreat. You're injured for a day, I don't want to do that. We have nothing to fear. Oh, let's go for it. Let's attack them. Let's go for it. Here we go. Lots of beanies get out of bed. And let's call cool. the them myself. I think I should be able to take on them myself. Okay, let's go for it. <clears throat> Lots of loot they got on them. Nice, so we got 50 gold, a wooden club, some soup, and got some high boots and some more soup. So we'll take the high boots, I thought. Thank you. And let's put them on. There we go. So we've got some high boots now, so that gives me a bit of protection. Quality is poor, but it's better than nothing. Defense 4, speed modifier minus 4. So they're better than nothing. There we go. So first defense done, that's pretty easy. And let's put some of this stone. Well, let's go and use this stone to start building this kitchen. Okay, so I'm missing one stone now as well. Pop that wood in there. I do need to build some more beds actually. So let's. I can't place it on there. Too far away, I think. Um, go to the other side if I do that. There go. Place a couple of them. And have I got enough wall? Mm, need two more wall and hide. We haven't got enough hide. Okay, so I need. My hunter start grabbing some resources for me. Have a look, see how he's getting on. So uh, I've got the hunter set, that's the miner, that's the woodcutter. Strength, yeah, that's fine. Intelligence. Still not very intelligent. How long we got? Uh, four and a half minutes before we get a new settler. So look at the new technology. It can build a pier now as well. So I don't know if that's going to work on there. No, it's not. So let's have a look. We might have to build a little pier on here. There we go. Let's build a pier there. We can start collecting some water then. And then we have got barrels now, so we can store up to 100 stacks of one resource. And we have got a wash tub as well. A wash tub is used by you and artisans to work with flax, wool, and hides. So let's put the wash tub there. And let's place a barrel. I don't need for the barrel actually. Plank and leather. Okay, yeah, so I need to start making some leather once that's built. Let's place a barrel there because I can store all my water in that. Place the barrel there. Okay. And how are these getting on? Have we planted these seeds yet? No, we haven't. 
I've got three pumpkin seeds at the minute, but... So, we've got the kitchen built now as well, so let's start cooking some steaks. And we have got pumpkins. So let's start crafting 20 boiled vegetables as well. And we've also got a workbench, so let's make sure we've got at least three wooden clubs in stock. I might have a little room to myself actually. They're going all the way over there. Alright, well, let's go and take some of these animals out. So I do need some hide. Gonna take these cows out. some wooden bowls that's probably for the water or the soup. Okay, I'm coming back to the hide now, that's it. I should be able to build, uh, let's get that one up there while, it, while it's stuck. I should be able to build more beds now. There we go. We'll come and collect that. Get that on here. We're looking stone boys. Yeah, so got a bit of stone. I might go grab that wheat as well. Give us some wheat seeds. Past it. Get past this tree. Nice, so we've got another bed built now. We need a farmer now as well. So let's have the have my build out work on the farm as well. So he should be going, he should go and plant these pumpkin seeds now. Eat a pumpkin. Don't get much nutrition from a pumpkin. Eat a steak. Do we have a another storage unit there actually? Stack all the food in. There we go. And go and build that myself. Actually, let's go grab some planks. Grab 20 planks. And let's go and build the storage area. Okay, so I do need some. Uh, I need a pitchfork or a sickle as well. Pitchfork. Let's keep at least three pitchforks and three sickles in stock as well. And we'll keep at least three wooden torches as well. set this now so let's filter this to bench output there we go so all the food that we craft will go straight into there let's save that are we looking on the science yeah, so I need a couple more on the primitive technology to unlock the stone working. We've got any upgrades yet. Have a look, see how the farm's getting on. Okay, so I need two stone for the pier. Uh, I need some more planks for there. Okay, let's grab some planks, let's go and do that. Go help, help my builders out a little bit. Um, I do need some more wooden bottles, so let's keep at least 20 of them in stock as well. All these planks. Let's go. Go do a bit of building. I don't have got any stone on me. No, I haven't. Okay, let's build this wash basin.
No, so he's just built the pier. Got 11 planks. I ain't gonna be able enough to build this. Don't need the leather anyway. Okay, so run out of resources. So with this, I should be able to collect water. So collect at least. Yeah, let's keep at least 20 water in stock. And all my dirty bowls, I can actually wash them. So let's keep 20 clean bowls as well. Go for that. And once I've got the water, I can start building this. And what we'll do actually is kill these sheep. That's a wall. Neat. Where are you going? Don't run from me. Oh, I think this one's actually pregnant. Yeah, it is. I feel bad. The feudal lord has to eat. Are we sheepy? Okay. I do need to go rest now. Our new peasant has arrived, so we've got Colin Gilson, and he's got quite high intelligence actually, so let's put him as a weaponsmith. We'll start producing the weapons for us, and find him some sticks. A number of resting peasants, one. Farmers, no suitable tool for farmers yet, because I need to craft the tools. What I need for the tools actually. Wooden stick and stone. Okay, right he's doing it now, that's fine. Go and eat something and then I will sleep. We are missing tools at the minute. Uh, let's place my on in my axe in there. Put my, there you go, got my axe in there, so we'll start carry on chopping the trees down now. Let's get rid of them, let's put the pumpkin seeds in there as well. And, oh no, storage is on fire, a lightning bolt hit a storage that wasn't under a roof, it's burning, what should we do? Let's hope for rain, 80 chance, 90% uh, of the building is damaged and all contents burned, I'll handle it myself. 30% of the building is damaged, 50% of the contents burned. I am injured for a day. And it reduces my movement speed. Well, let's hope for rain. So the story took 90% damage and 100% of the contents was burned. Okay, so which one was it? It must have been that one. Yeah, so my food supply is gone. And it was really damaged. I thought it was in a mountain, so I don't know. It's hit there. Um, I'm going to have to build a roof over these, I think. I don't have the lightning strike all my resources. Go and fix that storage area. Grab some planks. Have we got any planks? Oh, he's crafting some planks. Hopefully, he's going to go sort that storage area out. And I have got some new traits, so I can the stone working now. So I have unlocked an ordinary quarry, a masonry table, obelisk and a bonfire and a new recipe for a stone block. Nice. So the ordinary quarry that actually gathers ore as well. So let's place the ordinary quarry in here. Put it there. There we go. No need for that. 25 stone, 25 uh, 10 stone, 24 planks, and 20 void. Okay. Then with that, I will put a masonry table in here, so I can start crafting some blocks then. Uh, let's place the masonry table there. And what else do I unlock? An obelisk, which grants 7 points of happiness within a 3 metre radius. 
And I also have a bonfire as a source of light with a three meter radius. So let's put some light around. Let's place these bonfires around here. So we'll have one in this room, one in that room. No point putting it there because they won't be able to get to it. Put it there and then just sort of place my beds around it. Yeah, let's go for that. Place a bonfire in that room. Place one in that room. Very nice. I think that'll do for now and then I probably will just like line them up all the way down here just so it illuminates the illuminates the mountain. So let's grab some resources. Grab all this wood. Grab some hide. That. Building this. So I'm out of hide. No, I've still got enough. I've got enough hide for this. And wood. I've got just enough wood for this. some stone as well. There we go. Bonfire's built. Stone's been done on that one. Let's put the stone in there. And put some stone in this one as well. Let's do it. Let's beat me to it. Got any wood? Yeah, I've got two wood. Let's put the wood in there. Any resources in here are sticks. Grab the sticks. Nice. Oh, we've got a nice stone hammer there. Take that one. Let's swap that one out for this one. And let's put that stone hammer back in there. Nice. So I've got a, a rare one here. It works great quality. And item level 37. It's got better durability. Nice. We'll work with that one. We've got some sticks. So let's put the hide back in there. Don't need that now. And then I'll start using the sticks on this workbench. There we go. So I just need some planks for that now. Place them back in there. Yeah, well, this is getting on down here as well. I need some water there, don't I? Grab some water. Um, I need some wooden bowls. So let's do that. Self. Grab some wooden bowls and see if we've got any. Yeah, I've got some dirty bowls. I'll take them with me because I can clean them. Um, what's in it for this one? Dirty. No, there's nothing in there. I'm going to clean these bowls. Hopefully, I should be able to get some water then. I do need to rest as well, I'm getting really tired actually. Let's craft these bowls, what do I need for that? Oh, I need 10. Oh, he's already doing it, that's why. So he's making some water for me, that's good. place out so I've got my seeds now on the seed extraction so let's start extracting some pumpkin seeds let's pump that to 50 pieces there we go 50 pieces in stock of the pumpkin seeds that'll do let's go and get some rest and I've got a couple of upgrades now as well So there we go. Take this water, head back down here. Need to build that um, barrel really, because I don't really want to bring in all the water back up there. 
I've got enough water to build this now. Nice, so now we can produce some leather, some fibre and some woolen thread. And with that woolen thread, we can produce rope. So let's keep 20 pieces of each of them in. Here we go. And what's priority? Leather's priority. Yeah, we'll make that priority, that's fine. I'm running low on resources actually. How long have we got? So another 14 minutes before a another peasant arrives. So what's the happiness like? So happiness is 49%, it's low at the minute. I could do with producing some obelisks just to get the um, happiness level up. And the happier my peasants are, the faster new peasants arrive. All this water back in there for now. I'll be looking up here. So I still need 20 planks as well. Got any wood at the minute? I need to go grab some wood. Grab a. Hasn't gained a new trait, thrifty. Nice. Hasn't gained a new trait, knight. Thrifty, he's gained thrifty, which means seven percent chance to. I'll read that in a minute. So we've got more enemies equal, they're much weaker. Let's go for it, let's go and kill them. So thrifty is maximum stamina can't fall below 30 percent. Nice. Okay, let's go take these out. Oh, no, 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 no. Are they attacking them? Attack them, attack me. Oh, quilted breastplate. I'll take that. Thank you. And we've got some high boots at the same level, so another peasant could put them on. We've got a high breastplate, which is the quilted one's probably going to be better. Defense 8, speed modifier minus 8 on that. There's no speed modifier on that. Yeah, we'll stick with this breastplate. I'll go grab the rest of the loot. I will put this quilted breastplate on. We go, nice. Look in the part now. So we took care of them. That was pretty easy. Um, we've just unlocked a upgrade, so we can improve our benches. Increase the maximum stamina recovery rate for sleep. Animal breeding, which I haven't researched yet. Workout. Increase base health regeneration rate. Go for the improved benches. There we go. That just gives us a little boost. Our stamina, stamina um, regen. And what was I going to do? I need to grab a. I need some wood. So let's go and grab an axe. Here we go. We've got a great, uh, good quality axe there. Let's take that. Let's swap that over. Got an axe. Let's go chop down some trees. I'm running low on stock of wood. I've got 15 wood at the minute. Nice, we've got plenty of wood. Let's go build 
a ton of planks. Let's craft a ton of planks. So crack on building. Set of planks now, so let's whip our hammer and I should be able to finish building these up here. Let's go build that quarry. Start getting some ore then. There we go, nice. So if we ordinary quarry set and give another miner, really. He's high on strength. Him, but he's a farmer as well. We got secondary artisan. I've only got one artisan really. We're doing a lot of food. Let's swap him for. Yeah, let's swap him for artisan. And he's going to be a hunter secondary. We're doing a lot of food at the minute. Got enough food to last us. Daily food stats there. We've got raw, 13 raw meat and 21 cooked um, soup. I think it's soup. And these strength's not very high. But right, let's put the put him as a secondary farmer and we'll put the the builder as a secondary miner. Finish building this as well. That makes some stone blocks then. So that we are uh, set resource built for the barrel. Nice. So the barrel's been built. So let's start crafting some stone blocks. So before that, I need five stones. So let's keep at least 20 stone blocks in stock for now. And let's head down to the barrel here. Yeah. So let's set the barrel, we can only set this to one resource, so we'll set it to water. Maybe under food, isn't it? Where is it? Milk. The resources. So we set it to water, let's save that. Yeah, there we go. So we'll pile that full of water. And we should start building the stone blocks now as well. And we do some clay actually. So once I start getting some clay in, I'll start building these obelisks because these build, these produce a lot of happiness. So I think what we'll do is, let's just place a couple around here. So in the main square, it's probably full of joy and happiness. Then where else can I build some of these? Build a, another one in here as well. An obelisk next to that one. Build an obelisk there. An obelisk there. One in here as well. There we go. And we'll put one in 
I don't want to block off that bed. I suppose you could move it. I have one there, and then one. Let's move this bed. Let's move that one down to there. There we go. So we can access it then. Be able to walk over these really. That'd be a lot better. There we go. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, average happiness is on 51% at the minute. So we will keep measure of our stones. So if you click on it, it does actually show you where your stone supply is. So let's right click on that, it'll put it up in there so I can keep tabs on how much stone I've got. Wooden planks will put that, so we'll always need that. Stakes is already there. Money, I've only got 100 gold at the minute. Water, I'll put the water on there as well. Okay, that'll do for now. Start, start crafting some of these stone blocks. Grab all this stone. And let's produce all these stone blocks. Oh, so we've got 36 stone blocks now. And let's start producing these obelisks. I do need some clay as well. Could probably do with a has again the new trait gifted. Gives him the trait of earns 10% more base stats experience. Nice. Build another wooden chest. We got one for stone, and then I will produce another one here for. Well, let's put that there, so all the stone slabs go into there. And then I'll put a, another one on here. And I've got enough planks on me to build them now, actually. So let's quickly build them. We've got some clay there. Nice. I should have enough. There we go, obelisk built. Build this one. Enough stamina. I'm getting very hungry actually. So let's set this one to bench output. So that will produce hot red coating and some stone blocks. Yeah, stone blocks and standard stone. Okay, let's save that and then let's set this one so let's go for resources and then um, this one produces what clay and we'll put clay some clay in there we'll put copper or iron or in or yeah, we'll keep it as that for now. There we go, let's save that. And let's start putting some of these ones down, let's start building some of these obelisks. Well wow, stone blocks left. Let's another clay. I've got eight of these. Let's put eight of these into there. Go some all out. There's planks now. Go and put these planks back in the box so the lads can use it. Get them over. That's fine. Alright, so we're looking good. I just, I do need to go and eat something though. Eat and sleep, that's what I need. 
we got any else? So we have got a steak. So let's eat a steak. And I'll put them planks, then I'll supposed to repair that. I'll leave the lads to repair that. And what are we producing here? So we've got steak and boiled vegetables. We haven't actually got any pumpkins yet, so steaks, they need cooking. food in this part. Okay, so we've got some beef jerky, so let's eat some jerky. And what we got there? Some flower seeds. Some flowers. Pop it all there. Need some more jerky, there we go. So I am pretty full now actually. Grant's happiness of five. Just your meat diet. I need to vary diet just to keep my happiness up. And sleep and I am well, more resting power not enough resources for the weapon smith so I am missing some wooden sticks and no suitable tool for the farmer why they haven't crafted them yet that's why just producing some leather as well He's got on him, leather. No, he's got some woolen thread. Okay, how much water we got? So we've got 20 water, that's fine. These still haven't been planted yet. Need to start planting these seeds, really. How many seeds have we got? Yeah, I've got more than enough seeds. So let's have a quick look and get out of bed now. Where is my farmer? I need someone else to be a full time farmer, really. Let's put the farmer. Intelligence, flex quality of produced equipment and trade efficiency. So, weapons smith. A quick look, see if he's he produced all these weapons. I don't know, because they'll probably be in here. Yeah, so I've got enough clubs actually. So, let's change him to a farmer. Having Weaponsmith, second. Okay. And in four and a half minutes, I should get somebody else. I will actually build another storage unit here. And let's go grab some planks to build that, and then I can start putting my weapons in there. Twenty planks. I'll do. Notification. No weapon smith. Yeah, I know that. My dexterity has increased. Okay, so let's filter this to bench output. Let's save that. So my weapons will go into that. There, and I need one wood for that. So how much stones in here? Let's take that stone. Let's start producing some stone blocks. Craft all of them. And we have got a new research. Nice. So I can pick a wooden house or an archery. Let's go for wooden house. Uh, we've a lot of new buildings, wooden wall, wooden door, and wooden floor. Nice. Should be able to enclose these now, so any lightning strikes won't destroy my storage. I used all them yet, so I've got stone blocks in my inventory now. Oh, nice! I've got some copper ore there, which I can't start smelting yet. I haven't got the technology. I'd rather gather this stone. We've got enough. Yeah, five, so I can make one more block. Craft that one. There we go. We've got 15 stone blocks. Go with this one. There we go, so I've got nine blocks. Let's put nine into this one. Let's 
and some planks. That one's been re. Do need some more food. Got any raw meat in it? And no, uh, no why? Because my hunter is too busy working on there. Uh, swap him. Give him a hunter as his main job. Artisan second. There we go. Uh, grabbing some meat. We need some food. And planks on there. Let's get these planks back in there. There we go. Um, we've just unlocked a new upgrade. Nice. So we've got two of them as well. If we get three of these, we can actually go to the second era. Uh, unlocking more things. So I might go for that. I'll keep them. I'll just build them upgrades up. So how are we looking? So we've got the territory decoration map, so we're happy on there. I just need to build a couple of more of them obelisks. The roof map, we've got no roofs at the minute. The lighting map, yeah, give me some more light around here. So I can start building a wooden floor now, and I need planks for them. So let's place. Wooden floor in there. For them. Wooden floor. Let's just cover all these with wooden floors. Make it a bit more, a bit more cozy. Wooden floor on. Can I put a wooden floor on there. Yeah, I can. Okay. So let's put a wooden floor on that one as well. Cover all of this eventually. We're gonna we need a ton of planks for this. And for walls, can I actually build around here? I can't. That's not gonna build a roof over there either, is it? Unless I actually build inside, which means mm, it's work, is it? <clears throat> and if I can actually destroy this outer area. So I could put a roof on this bit here. Yeah, let's do that. Make it like a little fortress. And then I will build a, let's put a door there, door there. And we'll put a door there and a door there. There we go. Looking good. Door, can I put a door on there? door there in case I do get raided a door there there we go I just need a ton of wood now all of this some models would do it actually let's go for it all of this wooden flooring, there we go. Be a bit more cosy then. Yeah, want to crack on then. Okay, what I might do is. Oh, we've got two minutes till someone's on there. He is a peasant getting happy. A peasant ate a new type of food. What was it? Have a little look, see what you got. What was it? Soup or something? Well, I think let's set everyone to a woodcutter. Everyone go and cut wood. We need shitloads of wood. Oh. Uh, I'll put a barrel as well because I need quite a lot of wood for that. So let's place a barrel here. We'll always need wood. I'll put the wood actually. Where shall I put it? Put it along here. Have this as like a little storage area with barrels all the way down it. Not going to be protected though, is it? I might, could move 
I can't get rid of this and make these buildings put the, put the roofs over. I might move all my barrels into here. This is all going to be protect, protected then. Yeah, let's put a barrel there. I'll have that as a wood storage. What have we got in here? So I've got some planks in here. Let's grab these planks. And now he's getting on. Yeah, so he's collecting a ton of wood now. And with my wood, I can start producing uh, my planks. Sorry, start producing these. So let's put a door on there. We've got 36 planks, okay, so position this, should be able to do a few at a time. Okay, that's all the planks gone, yeah, so I'm going to need at least 200 planks, probably more actually, maybe 300. Okay, so a strange old man walking around just outside your village. You come across a strange old man. For some inexplicable reason, you're imbued with trust in him. He was sadly pulling a cart with four chests inside, but on seeing you, he cheers up and begins a gesturing anima animatedly. Apparently, he's telling you to choose a chest. So what's he giving me? So small gold chests, I'll get 750 gold. Heavy wooden chest, gives me sprouted wheat. Best with mouth watering aroma, so he can give me 10 stew. A uh, pile of books gain 125 experience in washing and soaking, so that will give me up to the next level. Um, let's go for the pile of books. There we go. So that's give us some new technology to read now. We can unlock now the non food crops. So I've got a new farm which is flax, and I can got a new building and millstone. So I've got new recipes for flax oil and flax seeds. Nice, okay. So let's place a flaxseed farm down and we'll have a minimum of 100 seeds on that. Let's plant a, let's put a flax farm over here. Got a 25% crop modifier on here. Let's place these down here. And we will extract flax seeds as well. Got 50 of them as well. 20, we'll keep 20 actually. We'll keep 20 of each. Should be enough pumpkin seeds and flax seeds there. There we go. and we have got a millstone. A millstone is used by you and artisans to work with wheat and flax. Good. Well, let's put that there. I need 26 and 25 stone for that. And then I will build a... barrel. Build a chest right in between it and then I will place that as a builder. Let's place that down. I can't even be close, isn't it? I'm gonna have to move that. Okay, well, let's remove these and I will move this over slightly. So let's place this there. Build the mill there. And let's place a storage unit in between there. We need to get rid of that as well. Let's chop that tree down, get rid of that in my way, and we will place this as a building. Got some wooden flooring in it. There we go, and let's put a door. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All this wood. We've got some more planks there as well. So let's finish some of this flooring. 
we're out of planks. Oh, I've got wood to start building the walls. So let's delete that for now and collect them planks. Thank you. I don't think I need the walls under there, do I? I don't need. Always get rid of that. No point having a floor in beneath it. Get rid of that because there's already a wall there, so I don't need it. It's gonna cost me more planks in the long run. There we go. So place a wall there. Wall. Two logs left, so let's put the two in there. There we go. How are we looking? Yes, it's giving me enough wood at the minute, so I'll just carry on building the walls. Has not been selected. Okay, so we've got a new peasant. So David Faber has joined us. He's quite, yeah, he's not very good to be fair. Got a high constitution. He's his carrying capacity. So I set him as a builder. Let's just start building as much as we can. Okay, so I'm out of wood holding the wood up so they keep bringing it in and I'll just keep building. So I can start making some soup as well, might as well. We've got pumpkin and raw meat, so let's start producing some stew as well. A bit of variety on our food. So there's no suitable tools for a woodcutter. Looks like he's producing some tools for us. Loads in wood, this is. And if I grab a pickaxe, I wonder if I can actually draw some of this mountain. Let's have a little look. So we've got um, common pickaxe there, let's go for that. Let's have a look. That doesn't work on this. 
Oh, so he kills my stamina as well. Let's put that back. Storage is on fire. Oh, great. The light bolt hit the storage. It's burning. What should we do? I handed the fire myself. Um, injury reduces movement. Buildings completely destroyed along with all contents. English with our water stores. So the fire is extinguished. The building its contents are saved. We have 21 water. What required to fight this fire? So I need 15 water. Or a, a wooden chest. Yeah, it looks like it. So the the higher the, the bigger the store is, the more water you need. Use that. There we go. So we've saved our storage as well. I think it was this one up here. This one with the ore was it wasn't it a copper or the tin ore in it i need to put up this as a building i have to move everything over hmm. well, i do need to sleep anyway Got wooden bowls and wooden bowls in there let's get rid of the cacks as well Producing more wood. Have a quick look. So we've got a our intelligence is going to be our weapons. Is it? No, I'll put him as artisan. Or leave him. Peter Fisher is the woodcutter. We'll have Tommy Lehman as our hunter. David Faber, that builder. I'll Tage Evans as a farmer. And Milo Harrison can be a miner. Jumps quite high actually, so there we go. So we're going back to one woodcutter now. Uh, we've got one builder. Uh, Marlon Harrison, you can be a builder as well. Got producing stone for us. What we got in here? Broccoli storage area, nothing in there. Got no stone at the minute. Got clubs in there. I've got some wood there. Got the planks there. Let's go grab them planks. Let's go sleep first actually because I am really tired. So what we've got here, so we've got quilted armour. Nice, so we've now got a new building which is the light armour workbench. Great. Um, and oh nice. So finish that era. Progress. This one's now is to start producing copper. And I am fully rested, so let's get up. And well, let's research copper as well now. So I can get a smelting furnace and a big wooden chest now. Nice, so we've got recipes of copper ingots, sword, long sword, and copper spear. So we are in the copper age. And I will start building these now. So we've got a large, big wooden chest which gives us 40 slots now. A light armour workbench, let's put one of these down in this, in the armoury. Put that there. And then we have got a smelting furnace as well, nice, so we'll put this in here. And 
don't know whether to break this as a building, move everything over slightly. I might do. To protect this storage. Get rid of them. And I will move that there. Place that one there. That one can go there. That one there. Do that one the same there. That storage can go in here. Go next to that one. There we go. Now I should be able to build around that. Should be protected. First off, let's get rid of floor in here. I need floor in there. Produce a smelting furnace there as well. Okay. I will put a wooden chest next to it so all the ore can go in there. be a building now once he moves out of the way. Finish that building. Then I've got the floor there and place a door. Nice, so they'll be protected now. And oh, I do need a door to get out. So back, don't I? So let's place a door. I don't know if I'm going to be blocking that actually, aren't I? That's not going to work. This is not going to work, is it? Unless I move all this over. That one there. Move that one there. Move that one. Um. I'll tell you what, I'll probably use the same one for that. So let's place this one. Delete that one. Delete that. And let's place one here. All right, let's put that one there because that's the one with the ore in. And then we've got the stone there. There we go. Let's delete these. And then I should be able to place a wall. Long here. There we go. I've got a door. A couple of doors on there so we can get out and actually mine it. Okay, nice. Let's I'll need to do the same with that. It's going to be too small though. Two planks in there, we've got in there. There we go, so that's actually I meant my stamina as well. I do need to go and eat something, so let's try and find some food. What are you doing? Putting some food in there for me? Have a look.
I don't know where it will go. So we've got another 27 minutes before we actually get another another um, another guy coming. We've got a Moy now, we've got a Hunter. So he's working on art style at the minute. I don't want him to. I want him just to work on hunting at the minute. Where's he going? Working on there. He's just producing some planks at the minute. Where's my actual other artisan gone? Colin Gibson. What's he up to? Right, hunter, you. You are just a hunter now. There we go. Go and grab that meat because we are getting hungry. Okay, and how's this coming along? Not at the minute. Still haven't planted these pumpkin seeds either. Why is my farmer up to it? Where is he? No suitable tool. What do you mean there's no suitable tool? or a sickle. There's a sickle there. You playing that? I'll have to go get some meat myself. He doesn't go deliver the goods. Where is he? Where's Tommy Lehman gone? Nah, what are you playing at? available for hunting you can change the minimal age at which animals can be hunted okay, so there's no animals to hunt at the minute hunt or oh, minimum age of prey select to age go for two mature there we go not surely that should be yeah there we go off he hunts the age on these because he was waiting until like three so did have some that are not two. We've got three put one, that one's pregnant as well. Okay. Well you go for it. You go for it, son. Okay, so it's looking we're looking pretty good on the colony so far. We're running a bit low on resources. He's gone to get some meat, but that should be fine. And then once we start building this, we'll get a shelter over it and hopefully. produce some better equipment as well as we collect more um, science points there we go so we've got another upgrade here so I can't exchange them for an era two now so I can pick increased plants growth speed cozy houses polished grips decreases stamina expenditure when attacking a trade agreement increases merchant arrival or sleep schedule villagers tire more slowly I think I'll go for that one because we've got a lot of work on. So let's. I'm on current level one, so I've got a bonus of two percent on that now. Nice. And where's he? Yeah, so he's collecting some meat over there. And got any meat in there? No. And um, what's his problem there? Keep on. No farmer, no suitable tool. Why is there no suitable tool for the farmer? Maybe I need a pitchfork. That's what the priority for this. Pitchfork. Uh, what do I need for that? I need eight sticks and two stone. Got sticks in there. And where's the stone? I've got any stone at the minute. 
I'll put that top priority anyway, at least we can start getting the um, the pitchfork made. So let's have a look at my roof map. Uh, yeah, so the roof only covers that at the minute, so all this inside is still open. these I'm probably going to have to move these over as well to make this unless I start moving these boxes I don't really want to because I want whatever goes into them to go straight into there but I think we'll do that on the next video I think that's it for the episode one of the playthrough guys I hope you enjoyed the playthrough of a first feud or this is episode one so make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it if you haven't subbed and you enjoy my content drop me a sub i really appreciate it and i will be dropping episode two of this as i continue the playthrough so thank you for watching i will see you in the next one